Welcome back everybody. Today we're gonna to be making some more protein ice cream with no sugar. And today's flavor is gonna be cappuccino cookies and cream. So you ready? Let's get into this. This is a great recipe for bodybuilders or anybody trying to get a lot of extra protein in their diets while still keeping that calorie count way down. For our ingredients, we have our Carb Master Milk, our cappuccino flavored whey of protein, our cookies and cream flavored casein protein, a little bit of monk fruit sweetener, just a little bit of vanilla extract, and I've got a few things I'm just using as garnish here. These are dark chocolate covered espresso beans, and this right here is a java chip flavored Oreo cookie. These aren't going in the final recipe, but I'm just adding them in at the end just to make it look prettier. Bruh. Remember, if you'd like to make this recipe, all of the ingredients and measurements are down in the description of the video, along with the calorie count, the protein, the fat, and the carbs. And you should really check that out because when you see those numbers, you're not gonna believe it. This recipe is actually very simple. First, we're just gonna throw in our monk fruit sweetener here. Then we're gonna whisk in our Carb Master milk. In our recipe today, we're not gonna heat up the milk to dissolve the sweetener. We're just gonna whisk it in really good and then mix in the two proteins just to keep it as simple as possible. Once you combine that, go ahead and add your vanilla extract, the whey protein, and the casein. Be sure to whisk this really well. You wanna make sure that protein powder dissolves in here really good. The less chunks you end up with, the better this is gonna turn out. Next, we're gonna go ahead and add this into our ice cream maker. We're using an Ivation compressor-based ice cream maker. If you're using the type that uses a freezer bowl instead, make sure you've had that in the freezer at least 24 hours in advance. If you don't have an ice cream maker, don't worry. If you've got a Ninja Foodi power blender or anything with a single serving cup, you can still do this. All you gotta do is take an ice tray like this, pour that mix we just made into it and go ahead and freeze those up into cubes. Then all you gotta do is put them into that single serving cup and pulse it a few times on the blender and you should be good. Okay, so we'll go ahead and pour this in, cover this up, and we're gonna go ahead and set this for 60 minutes. All we gotta do now is just select ice cream and start it up. By the way, if this is your first time here and you wanna learn some cool new recipes, get some great cooking tips and tricks and all sorts of other kitchen related things, then start now by subscribing to the channel and clicking the notification bell so you never miss a thing. 12 o'clock midnight. All right, so that looks just about done. Let's go ahead and get this out of here. Okay, as you can see, the consistency here looks really good. It's more like a soft serve ice cream though, but if you like this to be a little bit harder, you're gonna wanna put it into the freezer for a little bit, and I think we're gonna go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna scoop this out of here, put it in some Tupperware, and leave it in the freezer for about an hour. One eternity later. We left that ice cream in the freezer for about an hour just to firm it up a little bit more, and then it was ready to serve. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about us, you can check out a couple more videos, or you can check us out online at joesphenomenal.com. I thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to watch this video. It really means a lot to me, and I can't wait to see you back again here really soon. So until that time, I'm Joe, and I hope you have a phenomenal day. Take it easy.